Well, hello everybody. It's that time again. It's time for that blog that truly blazes here on September 9th of 2011. And as I do every week, I'm going to try to share some knowledge and insight with the weekly three card reading. So please stick around. It's going to be interesting. Okay. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, the card we have this week, or excuse me, from the end of the last week, is a Nine of Wands. Now, Nine of Wands represents strength, determination, backbone, character. It's attributed to Sagittarius, the Sun in Sagittarius. That means that we are relying upon our inner strength to carry us through challenging times. In the Rider Waite deck, it's pictured as a man standing bandaged, holding a staff, and looking very wary. And behind him are nine staffs. It's like he's been through a great fight, but the danger is not completely past. On the other hand, there's positive attributes with this too, because Sagittarius is expiration and springing forth. So we've gone through a challenge, we've been facing it with strength and determination, but also our inner energy is about to release in some very powerful, vibrant, positive ways, as we'll see in the next card. Okay, now the next card is the Knight of Wands. Very fitting in with fire signs, very powerful, very dynamic. As you can see in the picture, this fellow's ready to take off. He's just going to zoom off into adventure. He's going to go where he goes. Fits in real good with Sagittarius, that impulsiveness, that impetuousness, that desire to swing at the windmills and just just let it loose. So we're going to find we have a lot of energy this week, a lot of creative energy. As a matter of fact, we're coming into Harvest Moon this Monday. Yes, Harvest Moon, a full moon. The Harvest Moon means we're going to be manifesting things that we have brought about by our efforts. The seeds that we planted are going to be harvested. Of course, this is part of the fall, part of September is harvest, and the Harvest Moon falls this Monday. So if you're looking to do spells, you're looking to do candle magic, you're looking to make talismans, probably a real good time to do it. Okay? Or if you just want to maintain a receptive, open, meditative attitude and allow things to come to you, a good time for that as well. Our third and final card is going to be the Prince of Swords. Ooh. Now, this is very dynamic as well, but more mental. The Prince of Swords is like an Aquarius energy. Now, we do want to be careful about being overly critical, about using too much mental energy to solve our problems. We don't want to get into analysis paralysis. We want to run with the flow. Then again, you know, some analysis is necessary. We don't want to be overly impulsive and jump into things totally without looking. So we need to find a balance. We need to find a balance between just... Zoom going forward and holding back and saying, well, maybe I don't want to do that. You know, I think we got to kind of find an in-between. These two cards, they don't represent real extremes, but it could be that way. Okay, So just kind of like watch where your mind goes. Make sure you keep it on a positive note. Don't overanalyze situations. And you'll find that this creative flow and this positive energy, it can continue for you for a while longer. Okay, well, there you go. There it is, our three-card reading for the week. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Bob's Blazing Tarot blog. Until I meet you again next week, many, many blessings.